This is a demonstration of repelling magnetic fields. Here I have just an ordinary bowl of water. And here I have a bottle cap with a neodymium disc magnet glued to the bottom. The only bit of engineering I had to do is make sure that um, the magnet, all, all the poles were facing the same direction. I made several of these. Uh, the way I did that was I laid a couple of these disc magnets out on the desk and I just made sure that they all repelled each other. Uh, that way I knew that they all had like poles facing upwards. Um, then I just glued them into the bottle caps. Uh, I'm just going to show you that they float around in the water. And then when I put a second one in there, they repel each other. And so you see they move to opposite uh, sides of the bowl. The really interesting bit comes when you start adding multiples of them. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start dropping these in and show you what I mean. So there I got a third one and the two repelling fields push the third magnet into a perfect triangle. And then when I drop another one in there, um, see how they sort of fight against each other and eventually they find a certain equilibrium. In this case, uh, you notice that it, it uh, went towards the center but then finally broke free and formed a perfect square. And then this is where it gets interesting as you add more and more of these uh, little bottle caps to the water they begin to form these really interesting shapes, uh, all very geometric. So you see as they move around, um, they're all repelling each other, so they sort of have to move with the, the currents that they create amongst themselves, and eventually they equalize into a, a geometric shape. Put the last one's in here. You can see they haven't quite found their place yet. <laughs> so there you go. Pretty interesting.